have you ever wrongly executed q colon instead of trying to quit a window using colon q you might have found yourself looking at a strange window don't worry that is just a friendly command line window you can view edit and execute history of commands from this special command line window you can open this either from normal mode or if you are already in the command line mode by default this window will be opened in normal mode you can edit any of the history commands and execute them if you wish you can open the command line window for colon commands as well as for the search patterns first let us see the colon command line window so previously you might have typed q colon by mistake now let us execute this command with purpose so q colon you will get this command line window and since we used q followed by colon you will get the most recently used colon commands and since this is in normal mode by default you can easily move around so let us say 3k it moves three lines up and if i use w it moves forward by a word if you want to execute this command you can press enter before executing you can also edit the command if you want so for example this command opens save.md in a new tab instead let's say i want to open it in the same window so i need to change tab e to just e so let me go back by a word and then three characters i can delete so once i have my modified command i can just press enter so you can see the save.md file has been opened let me go back and next let us see a few examples for search patterns so you can either use slash or question mark depending on you whether you want to search forward or backward so let me use q slash so now i get the command line window with most recently used search patterns again you can move around and edit commands and execute them if you want to quit this command line window you can use colon q like you would quit any other normal window if you are already in command line mode for example if i had pressed colon and now if i still want to open the command line window i can press the shortcut control f so i am going to press control f and since initially i had typed colon you will get the command line window with colon commands let me quit let me show this sample with question mark and let's say i also type some characters and now i press control f so whatever you had typed that will be the latest command and rest will be the most recently used search terms let me go back if you press control c you can continue editing that particular command under the cursor in the usual command line area the command line window will still be visible in previous cases when we pressed enter it executes that command and the command line window disappears so in this way control c differs so let's see an example i'll press q colon and let me go up by three lines now if i press control c you can see that command 
appears in the command line area. The command line window is still visible. Let's go back. And as we saw, to quit the command line window, just use the normal colon q command. For more details, you can go through the help topic cmd line hyphen window. And as we have seen in previous lessons, to change the number of entries that are remembered, you can use the history setting.